your film, High Society, yeah. is a film about a young working class girl who is on her way up the social ladders. Uh, what was it that made you want to make a film about class society? When I was a kid, I, have, uh, I had a different part of my family, very different, you know. So I was looking at them and wondering why they are like this, why they are like this. Can we choose things in life? How can we choose? Do, do, you know, can we be happy in a lower uh, class? Can we be happy? In, you know, all, all those questions were always in me. <laughs> I was very impressed by the performance of Anna Girardot. Yeah. Um, could you tell us uh, what you were looking for uh, in that role and uh, how Girardot ended up playing the, the part? She's a very young actress who impressed me a lot too, you know, um, because she's, uh, she can do everything. And I wanted this character to be very sweet and soft, you know. So often when you treat a, a character coming from lower class, it's very and rage and, you know, angry and I wanted her to be very, uh, you know, looking at the world, wondering and learning little by little and then she can be angry when she has the knowledge, you know. She can bring that to that character, Anna. She's a very concentrated and clever actress She's a, and she's also a very pretty girl. <laughs> yeah. And that yeah. was important for the, the character too, because she she doesn't use that for for doing things. It's not important for her. This is my first film in digital, uh, and uh, we try a new uh, a new uh, camera, and it was uh, I think it was great. And we we I didn't really see the difference, to be honest. Okay. I have a very good cinematographer. She was. Uh, She's very sensitive. We choose the, 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 the same lens for the whole film. We, we had a you know, very uh, precise uh, idea about the, you know, the texture. So it was sensitive for me with digital, as the film was. Could you tell us about your own history as a, as a cinephile or, or film watcher? My, my father uh, worked in the cinema, so cinema industry. And he was assistant when I was a kid, and uh, I went on on set. Then I forgot everything, and when I do my when I did my first short movie, my short movie, I remember all that. When the light happened, I said, "This is my dream. This is what I wanted to, what I want to do." You know, I was looking obsessionally uh, at movies when I was a kid. You know, I was looking ten times the same movie in a day and. Everybody was wondering what happened with her, you know. And uh, also, I was living in a district where there was a uh, lot of cinemas uh, uh, showing uh, retrospective, and I was uh, very fond of this when I was a kid. Even uh, Bergman movies and Hitchcock movies. So, I, with a, a friend, we. We went there every day. <laughs> we were obsessed by this. To, to me, the, the French cinephilia is, is very masculine. In some way, I'm thinking of names such as, as Langlois, Godard, Rivet, uh, Serge Danet. How do you, as a woman, uh, experience this culture? I never wonder about this. Uh, this question happened when I did my first movie. That's really weird, because everybody asked that. <laughs> and I don't know why, because uh, it was in history it's normal that was uh, the uh, men, and now it has no no reality anymore, you know, because it was forbidden for women to do movies, and uh, a long time ago, so it happened like that. But now, so what? <laughs> I, uh, you see. Regarde, quel travail incroyable! Elle fait un peu comme toi. Ouais. Tu fais du tricot, c'est ça Je suis dans une école de broderie. Mais votre rose, là, elle n'a pas d'histoire. Elle raconte rien. Si tu viens du même monde que toi. C'est toujours longtemps de se sentir nul. Même si <rire>